Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. As you can see, we're going to be talking about Stellantis. That's right, the conglomerate company that owns Chrysler, Dodge, and Ram, as especially other European companies. But today, we're going to speak about the news of the executive moves for Dodge and Ram. So, well, as we get into it, let's think about Dodge for a minute. How successful they have been over the last... Well, 10 years. But well, who's been at the top for Dodge, you know? And why that person has now been moved over to Ram? Well, as you can see, it's no other than Tim Kaniskis. Oh, yeah. The main man behind the Dodge Demon coming back. Oh, man, with the bigger superchargers on the Hellcat motors. The bigger motor, the 392. Hellcat Charger, Hellcat Challenger. Red Eye Charger, Red Eye Challenger, the 170 coming out. Oh my God, and then you got the jailbreak and all the different variants that Tim Kaniskis and the people from Dodge could come up with, especially everything for racing. And they really pumped it out. And then they teased the public with all the public, publicized ads and got everybody involved and people were really fired up for Dodge, you know. But now, with Stellantis killing off the Hellcat motors and to get a Dodge Challenger or an RT with a 392 or the smaller V8 Hemi, the 5.7 to 345, well, they're killing those off. You know, so now they look at the success that Tim Kaniskis had at Dodge and they want him to go over to Ram. So the executive that was there for Ram has been moved over to a different uh, part of the company under Mopar. And I guess he's going to do his job over there. But they want the thrilling killing of competition named Tim Kaniskas to be over there at Ram. So Stellantis CEO Carlos Tavares had decided to make some changes. And I'm pretty sure he always had his eye on Tim Kaniskas and saw the progress that Ram has had. But he's also making changes all throughout Stellantis. They're trying to make the company more profitable. Because let's face it, for them to be building those Hellcat motors and to be doing the things they did, and they won over a lot of people, they had to pay out a lot of money to build those cars, man. So now he's moving Tim Kaniskas over to Ram to make it more profitable and exciting. Because, you know, come 2025, they're going to be making changes to a lot of the trucks as far as the trims are concerned. So why not send the man over there, as you see him right here in front of the Dodge Demon, uh, why not send him over there to Ram? And, you know what I found out? He's not only going over to Ram, he's still going to be the top dog at Dodge. So Tim Kaniskas is going to be CEO over Ram and Dodge. Now he's going to be double trouble for Ford and General Motors. You know, I wasn't at much all that well at the Dodge when I was growing up. I mean, I, for the hot rods, yeah, and some things. But as I see how they really evolved over the last 10 years, you can't help but be excited for Dodge. And then when you find out that this guy is the reason why, now you understand why Stellantis had made that move. They say, hey, we can't get rid of this guy. This guy has made the name Dodge all over again. And he had a helping hand, true enough, with other people there. But Tim Kaniskis is the man that they're moving to Dodge, from Dodge to Ram. Now imagine these Ram trucks. The Rebel is one thing. The TRX is their top dog. But it's expensive, man. Do you got $85,000 just to drop on a TRX? The Rebel, not as expensive, but... You know, for all the wild and crazy stuff people like to do with the off-roading, you ain't going to get too much out of that Rebel. But can you imagine when Tim Kaniskas go over there with this brand new Hurricane Twin Turbo inline 6, what he will do with that motor? And also, you know, with the turbos, you don't always have to have the same turbos that's coming out the package from the dealership or the company. You know, you can always put on bigger turbos. Now, Thinking about that, can you imagine what Tim Kaniskis would do? They'll say, hey, look, we need to make a few changes with these turbos, you know. 
Let's up the ante. He did it with the Hellcat upgrading from uh, one particular type of supercharger, and they went up a couple of stages with a bigger supercharger, and look what happened. The Hellcat motors got bigger and better, and then you had the Red Eye. Oh, my God. One of the most fastest ones that was coming out. And then there's the other Dodge, the one that everybody was saying, oh, it's the next Demon. And that thing was even better. So Tim Kaniscus got a plan. And I think this is why Stellantis sent him over. Because here's the idea. So you got the more bigger, expensive trucks, but since they got the Hurricane twin turbines out, uh, you know, the, the way to go, I believe, for Dodge, or at least Ram now that Tim is over that, is the, all the smaller trucks and how he could take that motor and make those smaller trucks more desirable. You know, they're supposed to have that little Ram page just out in uh, South America right now, and they're selling it down there. So they're going to be testing it, see how it does. But there was some type of news about the Dodge Dakota coming back as with a different type of version. And then, you know, you still got your 1500s and your 2500s heavy duties that contractors are going to need. Hey, regular people are going to need. You know, I got a 1500 with a Hemi, 5.7. But the thing's got power and it's got speed. So these people who are going to be looking for new trucks, contractors, your everyday Joe, they're going to be wanting something to fit their needs. Now, here's the problem. If you don't have the Hemi anymore, but you got the Hurricane, how, like I said before, the only way to beef up that Hurricane is with bigger turbos and a better intake. And like I said, if Ram has got Dodge experience with Tim Kaniscus, they're going to have that Dodge power. You know, and I also found out, like, this emblem. They're not going to have it on come 2025. They're not going to have the emblems on the back of the tailgates no more. It's just going to be Ram, you know. So certain packages won't be available anymore, but we're not focusing in on the trims. We're focusing in on this hurricane motor. And since Tim Kaniscus is there now, and I'm sure he made a bunch of changes when he got in, the thing is, all we're looking at is this hurricane motor. It's in the Jeep uh, right now. The Grand Wagoneer with the hurricane motor that gives you 510 horsepower and then 510 torque. Man, can you imagine that in a smaller uh, vehicle, maybe a smaller truck? Yeah, Tim Kness is going to have some fun with it. So that all of us will have some fun with it. Doing car reviews, driving it, <laughs> buying it. It's going to be a wonderful time, man, because now you got to replace the all Big Daddy uh, Hellcat motors. So Tim's going to have his hands full, but I'm pretty sure this man is going to have those motors screaming down the track with twin turbo instead of a supercharger man yeah in a smaller vehicle and i can only imagine what else they'll put those hurricane motors in and he's gonna have the full reins of doing everything with it okay guys hey thanks if you like what you see or like what you hear hey subscribe i need subscribers and i need likes man because i'm trying to build this channel up guys all right everybody later